So what's up everybody, this is Rattlehead Tech and Gaming. So today we're going to be going through on how to make any game that is on an emulator that is running at 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second default. We're going to make it to run either 60, 90, 120, 180, 240. Really it doesn't matter. What it does is frame generation. So obviously if you know anything about it, um, it inserts frames in between frames to make your video much smoother. So it'll turn 30 frames a second into 60 or 90. It'll turn 60 frames a second into 120 or 240. Um, the higher frame rate you get where you're working with when you first start it, the better results. Um, now, I am currently using it to play Zelda on Simu, which is Wii U emulator, and it only runs th natively 30 frames a second. Um, but you can do this with any emulator. It doesn't matter what you use. Simu, PSP, PlayStation 2, Dolphin, everything. This doesn't matter what kind of graphics card you have, CPU you have, it doesn't matter at all. Um, however, obviously you have to have a pretty good CPU to run emulation in the first place. So if you're not getting 30 frames a second, this probably won't help you. You need to be running stable before you start this. This is really awesome thing to know. It's a nice little trick. So, because I don't like stuttery games i like it nice and smooth buttery smooth when i play it it makes it it makes it actually easier to do better in the games don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell we're always streaming almost every day and let's get right into it all right so first of all what you want to do is you want to search for lossless scaling on steam scroll down click on it I already have it, so I'm not going to do it, but it's $7, though, unfortunately. But it's not much. It is worth it. It's very much worth it, too. Um, you get it, add it to cart, pay for it, download it, install it, and then what you'll end up with is this neat little program right here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you it working. I'm going to show you what settings I have and explain some of the settings. Now, this software does allow you to add uh, FSR which is like DLSS, but I don't use it. Um, you can if you want to. If you are if you want to play at a lower resolution and upscale to a higher resolution, you can turn that on. Um, like I said, I don't use it. Um, I'm using frame generation 3.0, mode 2, 3, and 4. And what that does is if, X, say you get 30 frames a second, Put it on X2, it'll go 60 frames a second. You put it on X3, it'll go 90, and then so forth. 120 and custom. Now custom will allow you to go all the way up to 20. So you can add 20 frames in between your other frames. You can literally turn 30 frames a second into 600 frames a second. So, but that's kind of overkill. Um, so I do times two when I'm streaming, unless I'm streaming at 120 and want to play at 120, then I'll do four, uh, but that's for Simu and running 30 frames a second. So we're going to put it on two. I'm going to show you my settings here and explain them to you. Um, clip cursor, it defaults to on, but I find that if you want to go in and change some settings, within an app, a, saw, a game that you're using, and it requires you to open another window, it gives you problems. So I turned that off. Now these three are also are defaulted to off. Um, sync mode, that's VSync. We all know what VSync is. Um, max frame latency, now mine was defaulted to three, so now I have to put it on one. Um, HDR support is included. G-Sync support is included if you are using G-Sync. Turn that on. Draw FPS. What that does is it shows up the top what your what frames the engine the game engine is pushing and what frames you're creating. Um, I use WGC because I stream with OBS and it works for compatibility. But DXGI is really good. Um, you can use either or. Turn double buffering off. The rest of them you just leave them alone. Okay, so now we're going to show you how it looks when you run it. Um, so right now we're going to run times two, which will put this at 60 frames a second. Now I'll show you, I would show you higher frame per second, but 
Um, I'm not on the monitor right now, and I'm not recording this video at higher than 60, so there's no point in me going higher. Um, you wouldn't be able to tell anyways. So what you want to do is hit scale, minimize, start your game. Now you see at the top left it shows it's going 30 on the engine, but loss of scaling is making it go 60. Now compare that with it off. Just watch the horse and how the horse looks. You can really tell. And when the camera pans around. So this is 30 frames a second. So I really hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, and that's how to get lossless scaling working, and that's how to turn 30 frames a second into 60 frames a second, 90 frames, whatever you want on any emulated game you want. It's really, really nice. I use it all the time. And it, the input latency, my opinion, they say it adds input latency. Now, it does, but not really. <laughs> it's so small, it might be one or two milliseconds input latency on my screen. I can't even really tell. So it's really good. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to know when I go live. See you on the next one.